Hello Virgo, welcome to Pure Tarot. I'm doing a quick read uh, to look at 2021's last words to you. Uh, <laughs> really what it is, it's to see if the cards um, want to speak up on behalf of 2021 and have the year show you, the cards show you if there was anything uh, really impactful, meaningful, something you should remember, something you should forget, something you should bring with you in 2022. Um, anything really um, significant, uh, relevant for you that happened in 2021. So let's draw a card. I'm starting with an Oracle card. We have listening. That's a great card, Virgo. I think one of my favorite qualities in someone, uh, one of my favorites, uh, would be the qualities of uh, a good listener, right? I really love that. I feel that this card is saying that you do possess uh, this quality. Um, it takes patience. It takes... Um, empathy it takes um selflessness right to leave room for the other person to really express themselves and remove yourself um so that they can be fully heard and fully seen so that's what it expresses for me, right? This is what it, um, in, well, I mean, that's what it means for me. <laughs> um, there are musical notes on the card. I feel that you might have been listening to a lot of music this year. It might have been really uplifting for you. Uh, you know, it's an elephant on, on the picture. So, you know, big ears. Um, I think lyrics, you're very, it's important for you, the lyrics of the songs, not just the, the, mus the music, the lyrics. So the meaning of the words. Um, and the same in conversation. Um, I think you're very, I think, you know, as much as I said, I, I enjoyed, you know, one of my favorite qualities and someone was, for them to be a good listener, I think that you, mm, when you listen to someone else, I think you uh, really enjoy like the inflections of, of the voice, um, the musical notes of the voice. Um, sometimes people have a lot of, um, they have a musical way of speaking, right? Accent. It could also be uh, you might have been really enchanted by the words you've heard this year. It might not have been all like beautiful and pretty. <laughs> you might have had some, you know, some moments where you were listening to things that were that were harder or that you would have preferred not to hear or something like that. But I mean. I'm mainly getting the um, the impression that uh, it's a positive trait, right? One that you enjoy also, like I said, you, you actually enjoy listening. Also, and I'm tying this in with the elephant. When you listen carefully, when you truly pay attention to what someone is saying, usually you'll have a better memory of what they've said. And we all know elephants have great memories. So I think, you know, the more you listen, the more you pay attention, the more you can actually remember what people have said to you. Um, in even more details than usual. Let's pull some tarot. Let's look at this closely. 
what else? What about 2021 and listening? I have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Swords in reverse, and there's the Emperor, the Fool in reverse, Four of Cups in reverse, and the Sun in reverse. So you were definitely listening to an authority figure or you could have been that authority figure, right? You could have been the person um, in this particular position listening to others. It feels like um, people... This is what it feels like because this, besides the emperor, all the cards are in reverse here. So what it feels like, um, you like, you're like in a position of a counselor, right? People coming to you and you listening to their problems because there's a lot of, uh, you know, someone would have been talking about their money problems. <laughs> someone would have said, I can't find a house. I, I don't know where to move. Uh, I can't travel anywhere <laughs> with the Six of Swords in reverse. You know, and then here is someone would have said, um, I don't know, I'm having problems in my, at school. Um, <laughs> my enterprise is not, uh, you know, starting and knowing the success I thought it, it would have at the beginning of this endeavor. Um, someone would have, might have been confiding uh, that they were very unhappy, um, maybe even, you know, low self-esteem and uh, low um, self-confidence as well, right? Self-esteem, confidence. It's really strange. It doesn't feel like one cohesive story for you. It really sounds like all these separate conversations. <laughs> and I said it sounds, not that I'm hearing anything. You know, it just feels like that. Um, I'm trying to see if they're related, you know, if all these sub stories are related with one another. I mean, maybe you did uh, experience a loss of money or maybe um, a drop in your revenue. These two cards for me, they go hand in hand, right? They're showing something is failing to launch. Something is not moving. And if this emperor is not you, um, he's not a very... Um, you're the empathetic one here, but this one here, this emperor, if it's not you, and if if he's the one that is quite unhappy and almost like um, grumpy, <laughs> he feels grumpy. Um, yeah, you might have been dealing with someone that is... Um, very authoritative, but uh, also like in a, a very unpleasant way, you know, with the sun in reverse, it's almost like a dictatorship, right? And I feel that this person, this particular emperor, in the case that it's not you, would have been uh, quite frustrated here with the four of cups in reverse.
I say frustrated because with the Four of Cups in reverse, there's just no offers being made, right? You're in a place where um, already when it's upright, you're not very satisfied with the choices you have. And even the one choice or the one particular thing that stands out is still not something that you um, go towards. But in the case of being in reverse, like here, it's simply having like almost no option, no choices in terms of avenues. You feel frustrated, you know, without really knowing why. It, it resembles this kind of dissatisfaction here on, with the sun in reverse. It could mean um, that this particular person, like this emperor with the four of cups in reverse, could have been like someone... Um, you know, people that are very rigid in their choices, that they just, uh, it's, listen, this is what it is. This is what I'm doing. Are you with me? Not with me? That kind of vibe, you know, like, uh, take it or leave it. It might have been you. You might have been, but I don't really feel that you're like this, Virgo. Um, I think this card is really showing the flexibility that you've had all year long with, you know, this these situations. Um, you know, it could simply be that you were around a particular, you know, either Aries, Taurus, if you want to look at uh, the signs, maybe even a Leo. Another Aries here with the Fool. Any of these um, signs could have been, uh, could be describing someone in particular in your life that would have had, you know, the attitude of this emperor, you know, um, ruthless and dissatisfied. And maybe it was, it's because there's no um, financial success, right? There's a loss in money. Uh, it could even involve like a child here. You could read it as paying alimony for a child. I see this as um, Six of Swords in reverse in this case. Um, I'm reading it as you're covering someone else's expenses, right? And by doing so, it's keeping you stuck because you're giving your money away. Look at that climax. Let me show you. Hold on. <laughs> climax, courage, ah, and gossip. Yeah. Yeah. The, the climax of this uh, financial situation of this disaster, I should say. Something, something is not lifting off the ground. Um, this emperor is not your friend. <laughs> Let me put it this way. He's not your friend or she, whatever. Uh, it's taken you a lot of courage all year long. What an interesting story. I wonder if anyone recognizes themselves in this particular um, reading. I think what's positive about um, this message is don't lose the qualities of uh, being a good listener because I think it did pull you through. It pulled you through this whole uh, situation. I think you were able to, you know, 
handle the climax of the situation when it was at, at its worst. I think you uh, were able to handle, you know, all the behind the scenes and all the nastiness, you know. It could have been, you know, um, but mainly um, don't lose courage. It's behind you. <laughs> the situation is behind you. 2022 is at the door. I'm going to draw one more card, okay? I'm hoping to get a beautiful card to look at. Let's open 2022 for you. <laughs> I keep dropping my cards, sorry. <laughs> Love at first sight. I so wish it for you. That would be awesome. Virgo. Okay, so exit with, you know, uh, all of this crap that was in 2021. And let's welcome 2022. <laughs> With brand brand new love and strong, passionate love. All right, I'll leave you on that note. I'll see you in the next year. Bye.